The Cabinet's decision to proceed with the Littoral Combat Ship Project will help the Armed Forces Fund Board's efforts to rehabilitate its portfolio. In our cover story this week, we speak to LTAT CEO Dato Ahmad Nazim Abdul Rahman about how he intends to put the fund's 10 billion ringgit portfolio back on firmer footing. He takes us through the strategic objectives of LTAT's transformation plan and take a closer look at its relationship with the Baustadt group of companies. We also dive into the tribulations of the expensive and delayed LCS project and examine the litany of controversial deals that pushed LTAT into the limelight. In city and country, we put the spotlight on UOA Group's mission to provide a space for you to age well in. Commune Living and Wellness, the group's integrated facility in Churras, combines senior co-living spaces with wellness features with the aim of offering a wholesome lifestyle across a number of age groups. In options, it is our interview with the Chung family, stewards of DeGem's 40-year-old legacy. From omnichannel marketing to an ideal cut diamond, DeGem's younger directors talk about glitter and their goals for its new generation of customers. On the cover of Digital Edge, it is about doing business in the metaverse. The alternate digital reality is expected to drastically change how companies and consumers interact with each other. Forerunners in this space believe that it presents the opportunity to truly change the game. Details in this week's edition of The Edge, save by subscribing to us for your print and or digital copy. The Edge is also available on Apple's App Store and Android's Google Play.